And gentlemen, the battle bus is about to take off. Game number one starts right now. There you go. Make some noise. Who will qualify for tomorrow's $1.5 million grand finals? Folks, there are some heavy hitters, as we just saw in tonight's competition, and it is finally here. Now, uh, we've got a number of players jumping out early, going to that bottom left corner. This is actually the heaviest we've seen in over the water drop. Players trying to get as low as possible so they can open the chute as late as they can. The idea there, trying to hit, there's a couple uh, buildings down there with chest spawns early. Greasy Grove is an easy drop there, or even Flush Factory, you see, uh, it looks like a pair. You see kind of spin around in the air, looking at each other to, to, to do some tracking there. Uh, Tilted Towers, the home of Nick Marks. One, two, three, four, five, six players dropping in there. Uh, but everywhere, as we've seen, is yep. going to be populated. There's going to be players playing outside of POIs. Early trap from Nick Marks, as we were saying, uh, a player to watch. People have seen him quite a bit. And this is, this is he, it feels natural here. I would go as far as to say Nick Marks knows that middle gray building in Tilted better than literally anyone in the world. He lands here every single game he plays. This is his, this is his home, essentially. He will navigate Tilted Towers better than arguably anyone out there. We'll take off his perspective for a second and swap on around as there's a lot of engagements going on around the map you see here. Wheels, Rex, Slang, all getting involved early on. Now, you were mentioning uh, Nick Merckx just to use him as an example, but there's a number of players that are like this. People have drop locations that they, they trend to, and competitive players, they're going to learn that about their opponents before they come into games like this, so I would almost guarantee you that people that are dropping there, they Ooh. know oh, what a play there. The tack shot against the green tack, a pair of shots there secure the first elimination for Rex, but he's not done yet. He's got all of well, the remainder of a 1v1 here. He's at 54 HP. The, that tack comes in big and gets wheels for the double. Wow, that last crit right there saves him as Rex was one bullet away from getting dropped early on. But now, two limbs. And remember, we've got to stress the points, how it all works. If you get three limbs, you earn yourself a point. Three to four. Five to six limbs is two points. Seven plus limbs is three. If you place in the top ten, you earn one point. If you get second or third, you get two. And if you earn the victory royale, it's a plus three. God bad on your screen. He just earned himself an elimination. You saw Hysteria actually nearby with full HP, but now it looks like we're heading out over to Retail Row where multiple players are stacking up with some big engagements about to begin. So Kairos in the southwest corner of Retail. This is a pretty common drop. Uh, if, if you're looking to push into Retail because you see a number of players move in there, these two houses out here are a good spot to hit. There's a, 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 lot, of, uh, a lot of brick. There are a ton of, of just stray trees you can pick up, and, and I believe three uh, chest spawns, two or three chest bonds those two buildings and if nobody else goes there's confident confident ammo but right here the third partying on yes. frankie it's tk you can, for people at home explain the term third party for someone maybe tuning in for the first time so tonight. two players are in a 1v1 situation maybe they're they're build battling maybe like you saw there they're in kind of a medium range fight where they've both built many bases just to, to establish some layers between uh, the opponents and a, a third player enters the engagement from a kind of a side angle, almost an angle that, that isn't going to get seen initially. They take shots at just the right time to try and secure one of the eliminations, which is exactly what you saw uh, Sakairos do here, but he's got to box himself in because his opponent has the top-down advantage. Those those pyramids to block ramp pushes courage are super important, especially the timing. You can catch wow. people almost inside. Now, that edit, that do you want dirty. to talk about how that dirty that dirty. edit was? That, was? that was a nice little play there. He moved and began to run to the opposite side of the ramp and then rotated it and then drop him on that opposite side. He's trying to break down his top structure structure because he's out of materials. Does tag his opponent once there, continuing to use that pickaxe, and he's realizing no mats. He's got to try to drop his opponent down to his level. Will it work? There it is. Can't quite hit a shot there as he is blocked. Yet again, the fadeaway. Won't have an opportunity there, just continuing to use this pickaxe. Now he's got him on his level. This is his chance. Sakairos. Oh, can't get it. Loses can't get track it. of Pupper in the middle Nine of all the HP. building. As Pupper gets the elim. Back and tilted. Joker untamed, pushing on his opponent right now. Gets, lifts a shock to shot, but Woo. gets lavish with a follow up. And you saw there, he ended with one HP. You, know, you saw it, it going down to the bottom. Just again, show off just how much I know about Fortnite. You actually can't get weaker than having just one HP. <laughs> That's Jack. the lowest amount of health you can have. Jack, you're not wrong. There you go. You're not wrong. You're Nick welcome Marks to here, uh, established in uh, the UI building. Uh, like we're here to set that destroys Kev is at the uh, the sports complex to the west of Tilted, but he's not alone there. 
Chalakias is hiding underneath, and they're going to do a little bit of creeping. The audio cues, super important. Even editing, speedy edits as he's trying to get up above. Whoa. Could have just built one ramp, but instead, double edits on the way through. Look at this zone. A lot Very of players, at, hopefully they're seeing this. They have two minutes and 52 seconds to start making a push because this zone is way west side. Yep. Snobby, greasy, tilted, even uh, pleasant and maybe haunted. Uh, with shifty shafts in there, this is this is centered on uh, on literally who we're watching right now. They're smack dab in the middle. I'm actually really surprised to see him going for so many hand cannon shots. Does Jump get tagged up quite shots, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, that was maybe hoping to get a quick little one shot there. Won't work out, especially with materials that he's sitting on right now. Probably would have been safer to go for some like uh, like a ramp wall and then just crouch and stand up and peek and take a shot and recrouch to hide behind. Uh, just an update for everybody. Uh, Pupper and Rex both currently have two eliminations, but nobody has more than that, which means nobody's got a point yet. Yep. Three is the bottom uh, the bottom end for that. Here's a replay near Haunted Hills. Diabolic. This is Christo. When you got that much HP, you think you're going to basically win any engagement you're in, especially when your opponent has just about 100 to use. The zone closing on in. We mentioned just how far west this zone is. Going to force everyone on the east side of the map from retail to made a temple, uh, risky reels, paradise palms, salty springs to make some moves west. And when you've got that river in the middle, there's a lot of gatekeeping opportunity uh, here, Dr. Lupo, to be able to kind of shoot down on your opponents and maybe pick up some free limbs. Now, information just for people watching home, all of the Cloud9 players that didn't qualify yesterday are in this today, which means the entire roster could still end up in the Grand Finals tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, of big teams, too, Liquid Chap, I saw the feed a moment ago, got his first elimination. Uh, Misfits taking out 42, uh, which is too bad. I believe he was at two eliminations, one, one elim away from a point, but got cut early. We're still 60 plus remaining, so there's no points for uh, 42 in view. Uh, just yet, Kev trying to take shots. Gosh, he's, this, just, he's just praying that that, that that hand cannon hits. He's been rolling. I, I don't blame him. The thing hits like a bus. Oh, if well, you I mean, within. one shot's yeah, like case exactly. in this scenario. Kev's just going to go for this one, though. At some point, you think he's, he's using a lot for this fight. When will this engagement finally come to a close? They're one level away from each other. Kev's still hunting, still hoping it can work out. You see bouncing up and down, trying to look for the best area to engage from. Only 90 mats, and these are these early game fights that some of the top players talk about. Not having the chance to farm, not having the chance to loot. Basically, it's nothing left to his name. There's the Elim finally, but... On the rotation. I, I was almost expecting at some point if he pinpointed his location with audio to drop off the top, maybe yep. suffer a little bit of fall damage, but catches up on and off guard with an immediate shotgun shot. And look at that. The second the Elim comes in, just starts hitting whatever materials there are. Here's uh, Rio. Sentinel already has two players in the Grand Finals as well. This would put him at three if Rio does extremely well today. And it looks like he's got the determination for it. Uh, Kyle 182 going down. Puts him at an elimination. And here's Chap. One a limb to his name to this point. Absolute beast in Fortnite from everything I've seen from competing against him here just does get tagged up. So only 80, 87 HP. Look at his materials, materials already, though. And that's what Liquid are best at. And I'm wondering, oh my gosh, how, what can you buy with... I was wondering what you could buy with those slurp juices there. Sure, uh, we'll see here in, in a the second. Machine. This is his first elimination earlier. Those shotgun shots. The accuracy, even from up top on, on uh, Bearded Derp uh, down below him. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. So he, he actually does purchase a slurp uh, for wood. So that's, a, for me, a great investment when you're down to just 87 health. Remember, the slurp was updated recently. It's no longer just, you know, 25 health and shield. It now gives you 75 in total. Starts with your HP. So they're at 87 health. He'll wind up getting 13 HP. And then the rest of that 75 winds up going in to his shield. So he'll finish with about 62 shield there as well. Now, now Courage, I'm going to try and think off the top of my head. I believe it's maybe a, it's like a 4x4 four four or 5x4 four base, you know, number of squares that this building takes up. Nick Merckx has not left that, no, that, so, that building yet. He hasn't left that that 20 square area. And, and that was Chap who actually just ran right past him. What an engagement that would have been if it was Chap versus Nick. But here you go, Chap and he build engagement now. Try to stay above his opponent. He actually ended up in the same box and had to fall yep. out to save himself. He's going to drop down. 
<laughs> Are you kidding That's me? That's confidence. That's confidence. Stops and is it impulse time? I believe so. He's going to look to just reset this fight, get away. If you heard, the opponent he was in the build battle with started getting tagged from a third party engagement. Didn't want to have to deal with any of that. He'll go ahead, get away. He's actually burned through all of his wood now, down to just 60 left. Now you saw his loadout curds. He had a, a blue AR, a green uh, suppressed SMG you can see right there, and the heavy shotgun. And out of that box that he opened that he pulled the impulse needs from, there yep. was a, a gold heavy sniper. Would yep. you have picked it up and dropped potentially the, the blue AR? It's, listen, chap knows better than I do. You could have potentially done it, but at the same time, I maybe it's like not his play style that, he, that he's going with. I another like another vending machine yeah. purchase. This is Ashen, uh, his partner Jack has already qualified. The shots out here at Lazy Link's accuracy, mid-air accuracy with SMGs, even That's a gray doesn't matter, they're the hitting a shot. Weapon. The swap weapon is so key. With the way that the meta of the game is right now, if you're running a shotgun, you want that quick little spray weapon you can go to, you take hopefully that shotgun shot, get some high damage. If not, you swap on over to that SMG to finish off the elimination. Chap now back up to 300 plus wood, 900 plus brick. I believe you might have gotten a second a limb there. Now sitting at two, so Chap just one elimination away from running himself a point. That would be a fantastic start for one of the high-profile players here in the qualifiers tonight. Now, I want to say I, I still think that I, the, the gold heavy snipe picking it up in this situation, especially with how slow he's potentially seen other players play during uh, the previous two days of qualifiers, just getting a, a 150 damage shot on someone on the move means potentially it's Tifu. It's Tifu up top. Chat Chap versus Tifu. Versus Tifu is the fight going on now here, folks. Who will come out on top? Tifu was just tagged by a third party, so he's got no shields left. Chap playing from the low ground right now. These are two of the best Fortnite players in the world. It's what this competition is all about. Chap now beginning to build on up, looking to match the height of Tifu, or He's, well, he just disengaged he's here. moving past and looking to box himself in. He's building multiple layers to this little catacomb to make it so that Tifu can't track which building he's in. Yep. You have a number of these little one-by-one -one chambers attached to each other, and players are going to have trouble watching. He's got multiple layers. He has the edit right now, so we can look through. He's then looking through the wood planks. He's trying to find Tifu in the structure that he's in. You see there the edit. He can see it already, even though there's a ramp in the way, so he's still safe, and the nade bounces off. That grenade's actually going to drop a bunch of chap structure. Here's Tifu now, one a limb to this point. That's a good amount of materials right now, just trying to keep those grenades going on in. And he's actually got three more in his inventory, so he's just going to continue to lob these on out, hope to knock down some of these opponents nearby. You see there, he, he noticed edits. he, he uh, made a mistake and did not close the wall up, so he re-edited the, the ramp that he was standing on that he closed off, closed off the wall, closed off the ramp again. Try to uh, keep the layers between you and an opponent because you don't know. Chat might have explosives as well. He could uh, pre-fire a rocket and then and then laser down the, the single wall that might be separating him. So that's smart play from Tifu to close his, his own build off. And now he's beginning to move early because this next zone was revealed. He knows he's got to move a little bit closer towards Snobby Shores. This is so far west. This is the furthest west, west zone you could possibly have at this point, folks. So everyone continuing to move in this direction. You see Chap disengaged. You've also got Tenpo on your screen. Nick Merckx is still alive. He needs one. One more a limb for a point. Here's his opportunity here. Will Nick Merckx get on the board early on? One of the top console players in the world. One of the biggest names out there. And he's got two players below him, both without shields. But even for Nick, he's quite low on HP himself. He's going to keep this high ground for the moment. Blue while drum were, gun in hand. While they were swapping weapons in that spec debut, Kayun did have a double barrel, which we've seen used all the time constantly, uh, especially in these close fights like this, because Kurt, up close, if you're if you're within a basically Nick wants this. Range, Nick wants this right now. One shot. He's trying to make it happen. Grenade launcher now being used. Nick Mertz going back towards the high ground. I think he needs to make sure he's got himself a floor that he can potentially bounce pad with in case this structure gets knocked down. He knows there's someone just one tier below. Again, folks, if he gets a third of limb right here, he will earn himself a point, and one point has been enough for multiple players to qualify in the previous nights. Kayun is so weak, but Nick doesn't know. Nick He's going to try this. to peek that out. Is this his chance? No! The wall blocks the shot. And he's still got a player close to him who's got a ton of health. High amount of hit points. The zone is here. This is kind of an all-in. This is an all-in from Nick. I think he's going to bounce, gonna bounce pad. He's right going in. for it all, folks. It's going to get dramatic here towards these moments. No! He got caught out, pinched between two players, the one underneath him and Kayun, who has uh, 26. 26 health. 
taken one shot. Rio, as we were watching earlier, he's at two eliminations as well. By the way, Flower, a uh, fellow Rogue member, did hit four eliminations, which means he has one point already. And Kayun, who just eliminated Nick, that was his, his third elim, so he uh, will be on the board as well. Energy General has three eliminations. Rec has three eliminations. Uh, Misfits. Uh, uh, sorry, Misfits GG, uh, Jire from Misfits has three eliminations. Uh, so there's only five players out of this uh, with one elim at this point you see on your screen right there. And three of those are already eliminated. So we have we have two left that have one point right now. Yep. A lot of twos on the board that have already been eliminated and four players right there you saw. Uh, Godvet, Diabolic, uh, Rio, and Chap are sitting on two right now. And this is something we've seen a lot from players running just <laughs> Two weapons, maybe a drum gun and a shotgun, and keeping a high amount of heals. That's what Rio's doing right now. This was general. Right, well, Found one right here. Hello, my friend. And there's his first. Sniffed out a second here nearby. Yeah, there it was. Boom. That was how Flower was eliminated. Jack, I don't think it's tough to sniff out the uh, grenade explosions there. And, and you, you know saw what? actually a swap from the, uh, you you tend to favor, favor the, the heavy shotgun, but he that immediately picked up the weekend. double barrel. Now I might be running the, the double barrel. How Players are def it, they're definitely showing how powerful a weapon like that can be in competitive gameplay like this, that the top 10 means a point and players are going to play slow. They're going to stack on top of each other and get very close. So right now you're seeing Kayun who still has found zero heals in the last five to seven minutes. What is the thought process right now with this with this little amount of, of HP? I think catching a player rotating is extremely important. You see, you know, see, he probably won't make too many moves until he knows that maybe potential targets or, or opponents are already engaged with someone else. He's gonna wait to strike. If you move too early, you're going to be the one that gets caught off guard. You're going to be the one that people have their eyes on. You also don't want to engage anybody. You only have 26 HP. So the second that you're essentially sending up a signal flare to say, hey, I'm here, please shoot at me. It's Vape Jesus now in the build battle with Dat Muffins. Muffins one elimination away from a point as well. You're going to hear us stress that a lot tonight, folks, because again, one point from our last couple nights of qualifiers was enough to get our 33rd, our last qualified person in. As Muffins just edits the window, gonna peek on out, see what he can spot, maybe get a free tag here with that first shot accuracy. He's got the double barrel, he's got two med kits, he's got minis, but here's the one thing he's really missing, Ben, materials, down to just 70 in total that he can build with. Now, for people that, you, you won't be able to see this just yet, but right now, the white circle, the, the next safe zone where everybody's gonna have to move in two seconds, uh, two thirds of the players are already in there. Yeah. Only seven are remaining outside of the safe zone. So there's not a whole lot of movement that has to come in. Looks like Snobby Shores was established by what was left of the player base for this game very early. You're gonna see a lot of people like Tifu, very good at it. I think Nick Merckx called this a spaceship at one point, building these 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 bases up high to get a, a top-down view on people. Look at these edits too. And this is a very Tifu-esque Type play style right here, Ben. It's like you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna survive until the end. Go for a victory royale. He's not someone that's gonna be dropping 12 limbs. He'll he'll finish the game with whatever he needs to get a point on the board. Here's Colton who won heat one earlier on. A great use of the frag grenade there to pick up the limb. The timing to blow up the the, the <laughs> built the built materials and then uh, immediately just shoot in as he sees his opponent move is it, that kind of timing is key. That's forethought. Yep. Now, as this game continues to move on, remember, top 10 earn a point. We're at 19 players remaining right now. Everyone in the lobby thinking, hey, I see a survive a little bit longer to get a free point on the board. This is a third party opportunity, and that's how you got two players literally mixing it up on top of each other. And Crunch has the LMG and just spraying to see if he can land any shot. That LMG not super accurate for this. There's two players in this. And there's one. Eliminates one. Crunch, Crunch, I think one. He wants to Looking follow this up follow right up. now. Two eliminations that put him one point. One elimination away from a point. Just bombing rockets, and he's blown through those explosive rounds very quick. The, the rocket ammo, which typically you see held onto until late, but right now he's so focused on getting this elimination that he do, it, it doesn't matter. I think he, he goes wants for the, the point. He got so he, he got did, tags on him. There's he no got more tags. Shield. He knows this player is under 100 health, and it's time now for Crunch to go for this. He's getting third party yet again. He's got a ton of materials. I mean, look at this: 900 plus wood, 800 plus metal. But he wants this a limb right now, trying to make sure his opponent can't pop any minis to heal themselves. It's horrified just. Below him. 18 players left. Remember, top 10 earn a point. 
The edits are so fast in here. It looks like there might yep. be a, a couple stumbles as he's trying to put, uh, trying to take a corner out or just the top line of three on a wall. And it's uh, maybe getting a, a little a little flustered in there because he knows he's got somebody else watching him in this engagement. He wants to secure the elimination on someone. He, like you said, he knows he's weak already. So if somebody beats him to it, that misses out on that elim and potentially puts himself in a bad position against whoever's watching. Well, Crunch is still bouncing around, going for these quick edits, looking through these walls, knows there's someone just below. Here comes the zone. People gonna have to move. There's Sean pushing forward. Tenpo still alive with maxed HP. Colton, who we've been talking a lot about so far today. Gone. Playing the high ground. The position in the next zone is uh, potentially gonna start scraping a few players off. Not too many. It's on the side of the hill. Yep. And you hear the traps going down just to prevent people from uh, in kind of infesting the structure that has already been built. Uh, you're gonna see people on the that south the southwest side is already empty because everybody kind of had to shift with that bottom level outside of the mountain. So right there, he was actually trying to connect his build to the mountain again to make sure that if the bottom was shot out, he would still have another layer to, to protect them. I don't think he got it off. Here comes General and Colton, though, moving on in. Everyone trying to make it out of the zone. Their little boat down to just 15 HP. Tenpo still quite healthy. Look at everyone hiding in these builds. Chap and Tifu. they just moved in next to each other. They're neighbors. Yet again. He's about to ask if he's got extra salt left over. He's up for Chaps, recipe tonight. Chap's looking for a, a 30 limit. Might end up being Tifu. We'll have to see here in a minute. The next circle is going to force everybody to move. You see yes. the mini-map in your top right. Everybody's going to go southwest. Plus, it's very it's, uphill. That's the thing. It's also uphill on this mountain. And whenever we see these zones on these mountains, Lupo, many people typically drop. This is going to be one where I predict we don't know our top 10. Like, we're still at 18 people. It's been two minutes and 42 seconds since the last time someone was eliminated. But I can promise you, the storm is about to take matters into its own hands and have people get dropped left and right. A stat that really highlights how top down, how how close combat engaged. Like there you that go. shot right there, Chaos Gone gets the elimination with a shotgun as his uh, opponent pushes up. But the, the longest range elimination thus far this game is 123 meters. Yeah, That's and there it. you go. Storm just drops someone, Colton and Bay Soldier each get a limb. Colton then dropped to the zone. Zone. Here comes the builds from everybody. Tifu still in this one. 12 players remaining. Top 10 earn a point. Will Tifu strike with a point early on here? You've got to think he's probably chasing Chap up this mountain as he's trying to keep on his level. One player close. Tifu going for the engagement. Won't find it yet. It's Chap taking down Tifu. And you see the smile there as he looks over. And Chap's not done yet. He gets a second of him there, putting him at four. My goodness, Chap showing up big here in game one. The next circle is going to be even worse. Oh, oh, Chap oh. getting dropped down to fall. He's only has 30 left. He's got to box himself in and take every second. He, if, if the second he has an opportunity to heal courage, he's got to go for it because the fall damage combined with people taking shots from all over the place and just kind of how they look like little beehives attached to the side of this mountain. Yep. Now, the next the, the next rotation won't be as risky. And here you go. This is uh, Chap from just wait, a moment ago. This is the wait. bait. He saw it coming. That was switch. That was Tifu getting eliminated in 11th, which means he doesn't get the point. That was him with two. He had what? Two limbs? and was at 11th. So if Tifu eliminates Chap, Chap there, he, two he gets two points and arguably guarantees himself a spot tomorrow. Heartbreaking for FaZe Tifu fans out there. He's got three more rounds, though. Jack, it's not over yet. Six players left. Chap, you're watching here with four eliminations of his own. One more gets no him the two points. He's got no mats. He's got to go for this. There's one. The third Hello, point. Chap! Are you Hello, kidding me? Chap! Can this man be stopped? Six of limbs now. Top three. There's another point as well. Now, Tempo, one of his opponents above him, well-known for being exceptional at this game. You're going to have to watch out for this little 1v1 here, especially, I mean, Chap only has two builds. You hear the C4 going out, too. Here comes the structure coming down. He's going to have to get to stay on his toes, watch for the edits you see above him. Now might be the time. If he's going for another third party, he's going to take shots. He's going to try and see if he can get a drop right there. Go for the shoddy shot. He's going to try and drop the surface out. He has enough ammunition courage to do yes. anything that he can to get him to fall down on top of him. Only 75 HP, though. He does have two traps left. He's got to break through manually to get to this point. He had it! Tempo! Tempo! Says, hello, my friend, chap. It's time to take a break for game two. OT Divine versus Tempo. Divine has zero limbs. You saw Tempo just eliminate Chap. The shot's coming down range. He's out of builds, and he wanted to drop down, but then the trap went off, and he's got to wait. Whoa, I can't do that yet. Trying to spray on in. Two players left. It all comes down to this. Tempo drops Divine to just 17 HP. There's the limb, and there's the win. Tempo, congratulations. 
four eliminations, the Victory Royale, a monster game one from him. Now, a number of times, even the last two days, we saw Tempo uh, come to these qualifiers, uh, and, and maybe the thought was take a different approach. You can even see here just some quality replacements. Look at the walls. bills he still had left, 700 wood. Get into the team. Wow, congratulations, Tempo, in that Victory Royale, you see. All smiles on his face. He knows just how big that is. So what, he got four, I believe, four limbs? Four limbs. And, and a, a victory point from royale, that. so a point from that. That's four points. Four. I mean, uh, at this point, Tempo. You, I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> I mean, I, we'll I'm see just going to say it. Yeah. And, and, and again, victory royales are also the top tiebreaker.